looking at the Aussie dollar here on the daily time frame, you can see that uh, price has been kind of ranging around back and forth and back and forth uh, in between these two zones here. Uh, overall, this mark has been moving up quite nicely. We got a nice little bounce back down into the 78, uh, 34 down to about 77, 86 zone. And uh, on the upside, uh, we have resistance coming in here at right around 79, 56, all the way up to about uh, 80, 62. So that's our uh, supply zone, our demand zone, and it's just kind of ranging right around here. But overall, we've been in a nice uptrend. Uh, nothing so far that uh, tells me that price is going to reverse here and come back and break this daily demand zone. So still looking to the upside. And as we move down into the hourly time frame, just to show you a little bit of that uh, support and resistance that's coming into effect and that's currently playing on the market, you can see we formed a nice little uh, support zone here kind of in between the two uh, big daily time frame zones. Formed a, a, another little uh, support zone here not too long ago. And uh, actually over the past few hours, we can see price revisiting that area. And now it's starting to bounce off of that area. So this zone has done its job, okay? And it's, it's bounced off of it. And now it looks like it's going to touch that uh, big daily supply zone just above us. We have a couple uh, resistance levels in that uh, supply zone. So be on the lookout for that as price retests these, uh, these two zones here uh, for price to, again, potentially come to the downside to where uh, support was. Um, technically, support is right around in there but uh, we will see how this acts over the next week. Uh, I'm still seeing this market move in an uptrend, so I'm looking for a breakout to the upside. I think uh, price can still remain very, very strong as the, the trend is up here on this market. Looking at here on the dollar yen, as we can see, price has been in a downtrend, and guess what? Price is coming back up here to the daily supply at right around the 110 all the way up to the 112 area. This is a big daily supply zone. And look at how many times this daily demand zone has been hit, a number of times. And I would like to see price stick down here and break the bottom zone overall, maybe over the next few weeks to a month. Uh, will that happen? I, I don't know. But right now we're seeing a retest of supply. So let's go ahead and drill down here into the hourly time frame, uh, just so that you can get a, a idea of the support and resistance levels that are coming into play here. Uh, so again, uh, it's bouncing off of big, big daily supply. It has come down here. It looks like it tried to retest the daily, or excuse me, the hourly uh, support zone, but not quite. So. That's really interesting to me that it didn't quite get down here to support, which means buyers are starting to step in here. So uh, the big daily demand zone has been hit several times. And if price comes back down here, more than likely price is going to break it to the downside. However, if buyers step in here and push price up again, we could possibly long-term see this supply zone get taken out. And uh, I would think a new uptrend could form long-term. Now, we're not gonna talk uh, too much more about the long-term because really what matters and what we're trying to do here is all about the uh, what's gonna happen next week, okay? So next week, what I see happening, prices bounces, bounce off daily supply, and now we're coming down here. so. I'm thinking that price is gonna come back up here, retest maybe another supply zone and kind of chop around here in the middle in between these two levels. I'm not expecting huge moves on either side, but maybe another retest back down here, just to retest this low zone that we have, this nice little support zone that's kind of just sticking right in the middle of these two big, uh, daily supply levels uh, and demand levels here. So that's kind of what I'm thinking overall. It's more range type motion, uh, but overall I'd like to see it come down low and start to retest the demand zone one last time 
uh, before potentially putting in a new high and starting an uptrend. Uh, but technically right now the trend is down. So I would like to see price retest to the downside this coming week.